It's 10 to 8. I've just started editing. I still have packing to do and dinner to eat and make it seem like everything is fine to the rest of my family. Punish me. Not next Friday when I'm not here, but the following Friday. I look forward to your suggestions. I'll be following the trend of everybody being late this week. Um, we're going to leave the punishing um, up to our newbies tomorrow, John and Carla. That should be fun. That'll be your first duties as fresh air editors. It's my favourite bit. Um, although I'm thinking because everybody's getting them up after midnight just all the time, and particularly I know I will when I get back to school, um, that I'm just going to be late all the time. And I don't want to do a punishment every week. So do you think maybe we give them like an hour or two leeway after midnight? Just because, you know, it's still technically the night. I don't know. Um, well done to Liam, who is here on Tuesday. Sorry, that seems like a long time ago. Uh, well done, really liked your video. Sorry, you fainted. That sucks. Yeah, I have a lot of bad habits. Uh, one of the, sort of the most visible ones is that when I am stressed, or thinking, or reading something good, or reading something stressful, or watching something good, or stressful, or just... You know, generally, I'm constantly like touching my face and scratching at it without realizing. I have no, I have no conscious decision to do it, but my skin is in bits then afterwards. Like I sort of, you know, I'm reading a good book if my skin is absolutely atrocious. Like during Harry Potter Seven, the four days or whatever that I spent reading it, I was just like horrible looking. <laughs> so yeah, then there's that, and I'm also, you know, the biggest procrastinator in the world ever and chronically lazy, which doesn't help, um, yeah, <sighs> and yeah, I'm pretty messy, um, food that needs to be put away, but it's always just clothes that needs to be put away. Emma, you asked what we would legalise and illegalise. Now, to be perfectly honest, I'm not entirely sure what is legal or illegal, but I do know that one thing I would do is bring in the four-day weekend, so you have three working days and a four-day weekend. Because you know when you get the four day weekend from school, you're just so much happier in yourself and you're so much more rested. Like you can go out and still have three days to like, you know, do your homework or sleep, which you really need then when it gets later in the year. Um, so yeah, I would bring in the four day weekend and just make it a permanent thing. I don't know if that's the case of legalising or just sort of changing it. But yeah, that's what I would do. What I would illegalise, I have no idea. Um, I'm pretty okay with all the stuff that's going on. I don't have any strong views on anything like that. I have very few principles. So yeah, um, I don't think I'd illegalise anything. If I think of something, I'll get back and I'll add it in somewhere. Um, Chris, how much did I love your video yesterday? Pity about the word tried, though. Hmm. We're going to have to see what we can do about that then. I'm tired now. Might just have a little sleepy. I don't have a talent, so when Chris suggested Greek Week, I said, you fucker, I'm glad you said try. Um, well, I'm, like I do, I like to do drama and stuff, but that's irrelevant here, I'm not going to do a drama piece for you because I can't remember any of them, I'm not going to do a poem because that's gay and I hate all my poems bar one and I'm not doing that anyway. So, um, I do have obsessions, however, uh, Mighty Boosh, my most recent and most fabulous of all, um, so I'm going to sing for you today. The soup song. Soup, soup, the tasty soup, soup, the spicy carrot and coriander, chili chowder, crouton, crouton, crunchy friends and liquid buff, I am gazpacho, ooh, I am a summer soup, mmm, miso, miso, fighting in the dojo, miso, miso, oriental prince in the land of soup. Classic times, crazy days, whatever. <laughs> 